Uh, this afternoon we heard you talk about the, the role of women in, to, in Judaism and in the state of Israel. Can you tell us well why women are so important? First of all, women are important because out of the Jewish women, you have Jewish children, you have Jewish family, you have continuity, which is, as far as I'm concerned, the most important thing is the continuity of the Jewish people, which starts from the Jewish women. And uh, what about Israel? Israel, one of the pillars of Israel, when people ask me who is one of your heroes in life, I say that one of my heroes in life is Golda Meir. Golda Meir was one of the founders of the State of Israel, one of the pillars of the State of Israel, and she was a woman, a strong woman, and she's one of my heroes. And uh, you, you in Keren Ayesod go through the different uh, communities and, uh, and meet with different uh, Keren Ayesod in the whole countries. Uh, what is your impression of this big family of Keren Ayesod? My impression of Mexico is that yes. you have an un unbelievable community. I'm impressed by the unity of your community, by the strength of your community, and by the Jewish education that you give to your children, which is the most important aspect that your community has. Karen, I saw this like a family. I travel around the world. We have something in common, which is our love, our Chabad Israel, our love for Israel. And this is what makes my life rich and what gives me the zechut to be able to help grow Am Israel. What other countries did you uh, travel? I've been to Australia, which is a wonderful community. I've been to Canada, which is another wonderful community. I've been to Argentina, I've been to Brazil. I travel in Europe, in France, in the United Kingdom, in Holland, all over the world because Karen I saw covers the entire Jewish world with the exception of the United States of America. Therefore, my main role and my main objective is to spread the message of Karen I saw to all of our campaigns message of unity, a message of strength, a message of continuity of Am Israel. And I think you did it very well here. Thank you <laughs> but, uh, what is what is coming for Keren Ayesod? What are the new uh, projects? The new projects of Keren Ayesod are engaging the young generation into our mission, into strengthening the identity of our children and our generation of the diaspora and to link them, the generation of the Jews from the diaspora to the generation of Jews in Israel and to create this link because we are one people and Jews from the diaspora and Jews from Israel are one and we stress the importance of this link and this is our challenge for the future. And you spoke about Obama uh, and his visit tonight in Israel. What do you think will come out of from, from this visit? Well, as we speak, I think Obama is landing in Israel. Obama undoubtedly in Israel will reinforce and reinvigorate the strong bond and relationship between Israel and the United States. Clearly, my impression is that they will speak about Iran, which was number one priority for the security of Israel, but not only of Israel, for the security of the entire Western world. They will speak about the changing in the Middle East, and they will also speak about the Palestinian issue, which unfortunately Israel today does not have a partner for peace, but hopefully we are hopeful. And we as Jews, the first word that we learn is peace, shalom. Therefore, Israel is willing to have peace, but we need a true partner. And hopefully Obama is going to strengthen this and is going to reinvigorate the peace process between Israel and its neighboring countries. You know, uh, yesterday there was an article in the in the New York New York Times. You read it about the legitimacy of the state of Israel. I think it's a terrible article, and it was uh, questioning if Israel is legitimate. What, what do you think? For me, it is absurd and it is incredible that in year 2013 we can still question the existence of the state of Israel. The Israel is there to stay. For those who don't like it, I'm sorry, but Israel is there to stay forever.